darlings, this is Kenny the Messy Silver over at Royal Appleberry, and um, I am doing a red, pink, and white soap. I'm not going to call it Valentine's Day soap just because I am, from this point on, no longer doing <laughs> uh, holiday themed soaps unless they are custom orders. So, um, who doesn't want a red, white, and pink soap in their collection, though? So, um, there's no lie in here. This is just my, my milks and creams and all that fun stuff. So, I can actually move that out of the way. And I am going to be using something new today. So, two news. This is Rustic Essentials Red Lipstick. A lot of you saw this in my um, uh, Rustic Essential Fall uh, haul review. And, why is it so cloudy? Because it has 1% vanillin in it. And I am using color stabilizer for the very first time. Vanillin color, color stabilizer. So, um, that's why this bottle is so full. Because <laughs> I just filled it all the way up. You can use it 25 to 50%. So, I used about 25% in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and get everything mixed up. And then we'll get started. Oh, before I go. Um, you guys really seem to uh, like that patchouli soap that I did that was in a squeeze bottle on a tilt. I'm going to do the squeeze bottles again, but I'm not going to tilt this time. I've done it before, and I do like the outcome. So, that is what we are doing. So, again, see you in a second. Okay, so I'm back. I got everything mixed up and um, this fragrance had very, very, very good um, reviews on it as far as its behavior in uh, cold process soap. Um, again, it did have 1% vanillin in it, so that's why I put some cover, cover? <laughs> some color stabilizer in it. I've never, ever used color stabilizer before, so this is the first for me. I know you guys probably wonder why I got this sitting here instead of putting it in here. So what I'm going to do when these run out, um, I'm going to pour even amounts into each cup and then mix it the color is going to turn lighter and I'm going to continue on with my uh, lines in the square bottles so um this fragrance is amaze balls the reason why I got it and I said it in my uh, haul review the reason why I got it because it smells like um luscious I believe it's snow fairy and I'm a big fan of lush you guys know that the notes on this is um dark sweet cherry violet raspberry a hint of brown sugar cotton candy, musk, French cream, and taco bean. And I'm telling you, it lives up to its name. Like I said, it got great, great, great reviews. So, um, had to definitely get it. And so far, I am very pleased with how it's behaving. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill these bottles. Just one little, little that will stir. I'm not lining these bottles just because I don't feel like dealing with the hassle. I'm trying to get the soap to go down into the cup. <laughs> I mean, into the bottle when I refill it. That's always a pain in the butt. Yes, it makes it easier to clean, but it is still a pain for me to try to get the soap to go down in the bottle. So, just not gonna line them this time. Okay. Now, I'll do my pink. I wish you could better stir first. Stirred them up pretty well though. Yeah. They mix pretty well. Here I go. <laughs>
Okie doke, so I'm getting towards the end and I figured I'd come back and talk to you guys. Um, no, I just forgot my colors, okay. <laughs> okay, for any of you who want to try this method and you've never tried it before, um, what I do is I kind of give the bottle a hard squeeze. Um, and that way you kind of keep the same amount in each bottle. And I don't worry about it all staying just down the middle. If it falls this way or that, I'm okay with that. And of course, all this isn't going to fit in this mold, but that's okay. We're going to make fit what fits. But, um, and it doesn't matter in which direction you go either. When I see my mold is kind of filling up like high on one end, I will change which direction I go in. But as far as like my white, and then even though like I'm running out of white, that's fine too if it makes those little splatters. No big deal. Um, yep, so I'm getting to the in of my colors so and what i do in my opposite hand like when they get towards the end i actually just hold my bottles like this until i'm ready for the next color that way i don't have to keep shaking it down i mean i still have to but not as much so i'm going to continue to fill this mold up as far as i can get it and the white and pink play very nicely it's just the white that thickened up and that's because of the TV. I have days where, and then oddly enough, this doesn't even have any fragrance in it. Um, <laughs> I just have days when my TD behaves nicely and other days it doesn't. So, no big deal. And then the reason why I squeeze kind of hard or forcefully, should I say, is because I want these colors to push into each other. That's why, and that's why I get the big old splatters too, which, like I said, I don't mind. Alright, so, this is getting pretty cool. I'll put these down. And, um, give it a snack down. And as you can see how it's, like, piled up on this end and not that end. So, just give it a smack down, and then smack out some of those bubbles too. And then I'll turn it around. And go ahead and poke out these bubbles that are sitting on the top. Because I don't want them. Put a little jiggle towards that end. Still haven't gotten Gabe to level my table, but I will. Okay, so I'm going to go a couple of more passes. Because whatever I can get to fit, I'm going to make it fit. Whoops, come back here. Okay, what I had planned to do was uh, like texture this top, but I think I like what it looks like, so I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to go ahead and fill these bottles up all the way with the rest of what I have left, and then I'm going to just keep going until it fills up. All right. Okay, so that is all I'm going to put on here. I'm not even going to clean the sides. I'll just uh, double that or clean it up as best as I can once the soap is um, unmolded. So, I'm going to put a, ooh, pretty, pretty. Put some of this glitter on it. Yeah, so it is gorgeous. Absolutely. I think that's enough of that color. And then I'm going to do a wee bit of pink yep I really like this a lot and it smells so good wow I like this fragrance and like I said it just got the best reviews ever on Rustic Essentials website so 
um, I'm going to have to go and get another bottle of this. And I know I don't want as much pink. I'm going to use that really bright pink. And then that's good. Just like that. No more. Okie dokie. So, we're all done. Until the cutting. So, if you watched this far and you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to give a thumbs up. It is greatly appreciated. Also, leave a comment. I love chatting it up with you guys. Uh, for sure. I hope you're having a fan fantastic day. I'm not going to go ahead and close this video out fully because the cutting will be attached to this video. Um, so, I'm going to pick it up and give you guys a close-up. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I love this. And I think it's going to turn out really, really nice um, as far as the swirls. And I hope that um, by me adding the plain uh, soap base into the red and the pink, that it lighten it up enough where you'll see like a transition. Alright guys, so see you over there. Hey y'all, this is Kenny the Messy Sofer over at Real Appleberry and I'm back with the cutting of this Fanfoo Fantastic Soap. I keep talking to you guys like you weren't even here, you just watched the making. But anywho, that's me being used to making my videos separately. I don't do that now. I try to keep them on the same video. That way it'd be easier for you to find because you guys asked and I gave it to you. So now let's get on with the cutting of this glorious, glorious soap. How gorgeous is that? Seriously. I love the way this soap looks and it feels nice. It's been sitting out in the mold for I think four days. Guys, I just had a lot of stuff to do. So, <laughs> and I'm trying my best to show some patience and stop hacking into my soap so they take them out the mold. So, I love the way this feels. So, we're going to go ahead and get this puppy cut. Make sure we got this up far enough. I think so, yes. Oh, that cut lovely. Oh, oh that's so cute. That is really... Real, oh, that smells so good too. <laughs> um, I'm super. Oh, for those of you who know me, I get super excited about my soaps. And I mean, hell, if you don't get excited about your soaps, you can't really expect anybody else to. So, excuse all my squillings. <laughs> um, I just love when I get what I want out of my soaps. And I definitely did. This kind of looks like a, a girly camo, but that works too. She is pretty. Look at that. It's so pretty, guys. I love her. She smells good. She looks good. She's a pretty girl. Too bad I already had a soap named Pretty Girl because I would surely name this and that as well. All right. But, um, oh, I already know. I just. Melly, I know you're watching. <laughs> and so, Melly, um, she and I talk occasionally uh, through email. And she always says, hey girl, hey. So that's the name of this soap. That's dedicated to you, hun bunnies. So <laughs> I did say I wanted to name a soap, hey girl, hey. And this is it. Because I think it is fitting. This is a pretty soap. And it just kind of fits. I don't know why. It just does. So there you go. Super duper. And that's, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Okay, hey. <laughs> I just noticed something as I was looking. Because it's been a couple of days since I made this soap. I'm just like, why is it so much lighter? So it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Oh, lovely. Absolutely. Oh, I'm so thrilled about that. Can you guys see that? You know what I'm talking about, right? You see how the red is actually redder there and it's pinker here? Yeah. So, I'm very pleased with the way that turned out. Yes, I am. And Gabe kept saying, we're going to cut the soap. I'm like, I don't know. We're going to cut the soap. Like, I don't know, Gabe. <laughs> When you gonna cut the soap? Did you cut the soap? I'm like, no, dude. So he says to me yesterday, I'm gonna go downstairs and cut the soap. I'm like, and I'm gonna cut your hands off. Don't touch my soap, dude. <laughs> and he goes, why? I said, because um, I have to film. And he goes, well, I'll film. I said, okay, go ahead. As you can see, I'm the one filming. <laughs> but um, I also wanna say, this is still 2017 while I'm doing this cutting video it is the 20 the 28th of december so i'm still ahead thank god uh, <laughs> these soaps will definitely be ready at the end of january um early feb in january so uh yeah early february let's give or take but it's rock hard right now so i'm gonna say the end of january but 
I just want to say thank you to all of you, like right now, for going on this journey in 2018 with me, with Royal Appleberry, for all the support that you have given me through 2017. It has been a fantastic ride and I can't wait to do it again with you all. I am so excited that you all are just there and always support me and all the love that you give me. And thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the new subscribers I have. <laughs> I'm so glad to have you guys as part of my stinking awesome crew because you guys are just that stinking awesome. So I just wanted to say that because I am truly, truly grateful and it's never ever a day that goes by that I take you guys for granted. I do not. Um, <laughs> as my channel continuously grow, I'm just meeting new people and seeing new faces and more opportunities come along and I am so truly, truly, truly thrilled and ecstatic to keep on going. Just keep on going and having you guys go with me. So, <laughs> I'm just I'm in a great mood. Why not? So, thank you each and every one of you. Love you guys. Hugs to all of you. Virtual hugs. Yes, indeedy. Alrighty. So, this soap is just giving me life. Wow, oh, it's giving me life, y'all. It's so pretty. I'm looking at it off to the side and kicking the pants to myself because somebody missed the glitter over here, but I'll take care of that later. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't put any glitter on that side over there. That is really pretty, and the top goes perfectly with it, I think, anyway, because of the squiggly lines and the squiggly lines, you know what I mean? Oh, this fragrance, yep, gotta get this again, because it is fan food fantastic and for those of you who don't know, um, I do reviews for Rustic Essential, Rustic Essential is love, they are awesome, so if you are into candle making, soap making, whatever you do, honey, Head over to Rustic Essential and get yourself some. It is a treat. It is a treat. And I know a lot of people, they say that the shipping is expensive. And you know what? It is. But I will say this about Rustic Essential. And I'm saying this as a consumer. Not just as um, a, a reviewer for them. I'm saying this as a consumer. Anybody you order from, um, whether it be any of the soap making or candle making companies, I can honestly say hands down I get my stuff lightning fast from Rustic Essential always so that's the one thing that they do offer uh, over everyone else you get your stuff super duper fast um, I've never had an experience where it took long if you read the reviews on their website you'll see that they ship they normally ship that same day um, so yeah you got to think about um, they have to pay their employees, you know, and it takes time for these people to hurry up and package your order and get it out to you so that way you don't have to wait. They understand that we want our goodies. So treat yourself to Rustic Essential. Everything that I've gotten from them, even the ones that I don't like, because you guys know I don't like pine, but Gabe love pine. I do like their mixtures. Um, when pine and lavender are mixed with other fragrances, they do work. As you guys can see, every soap that I've made, um, you have probably one out of every <laughs> one out of every 50 60 soaps that uh, give me an issue and when I say give me an issue it might be fast acceleration but they tell you that on the website so you already know that and I think I've had two out of the entire time that I've been uh, reviewing for Rustic Essential so yeah go support Rustic Essential um, it's a great company. They are great people. They are great to their employees and that is one thing I love 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 the most how they always look out for others Not just their employees, but the community period. So yes, go support now. I'm gonna get my buns out of here because um, My hair is wet <laughs> Gotta go do something with that. My mom and I are hanging out tomorrow because I've all it's been long and busy, busy, busy for me. Let me put some soaps here instead of y'all looking at this cutter. Uh, <laughs> it's been super busy for me with the holidays and all that stuff ending um, and coming and going and all of that. So I haven't had time to see my mom and hang out with her. So yay, girl's dead. All right, guys. Again, I'm going to get myself out of here. Love, hugs, and kisses. Be awesome, amazing, everything you do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It helps my channel grow and I would love to have you as one of my stinking awesome crew. Hit that bell for notifications if you want to get notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys over at the next Making and Cutting. Bye loves!